Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Computer, and last episode I created accumulators and um, as well as energy exchangers, just a couple of them to see how they worked. And they were pretty fine. They're basically, they're batteries that you can, if you have a planet with surplus energy, let's say, like this one. Well, that's a lot actually. Anyway, um, you can set these to charge these accumulators. And then on a planet that you don't have as much energy, you can set them there. You can plop down a couple of energy exchangers, set them to discharge the accumulated energy and thereby get power. So, and you don't really lose anything because you put in empty accumulators and you get in full. And if you discharge, it's the other way around. So you don't lose items from it, which is great. And if you have an entire planet that just runs on passive energy um, accumulation, for instance, maybe a Tyson Sphere or wind power or solar power, or anything like that, then it's basically free energy, which is cool. Just maybe a little bit too slow for a bigger factory maybe i don't know but it's a cool system and i'm looking forward to using it i can't really right now because i don't have enough copper to make uh, super magnetic rings because they require electromagnetic turbines and they require copper yeah copper is a big problem and i have like i'm mining zero of it on this planet now that's uh 87409 and 87409. Yeah, it's entirely empty. Well, I need to remove uh, the the work I've done over there to start mining it. And 80, 87,000, isn't that a lot? Then I also tried to solve a hydra, uh, hydrogen crisis by turning hydrogen and uh, refined oil into gra energetic graphite and hydrogen. More hydrogen didn't really work uh, as quickly as I hoped back then, so I altered it a little bit now. So before I had this set to supply, naturally, and the hydrogen would just bounce over here, except it prioritized basically everyone else and only sent a few over to this, which is a problem because this one needs a lot in order to create even more. So instead, I took a little bit of a belt of hydrogen going out here because uh, towers always prioritize belts going out. So this one goes out here and then I doubled up and then put that in here and then it goes around here. Goes into this one and then into that one. So it should all work now and then set these to storage because I don't want to lose more. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yes, you have everything. Good, good, good. And it took maybe 20 minutes for this to fill up entirely. On the other hand, I'm not really using hydrogen right now, ironically enough, because I don't have enough copper to make uh, the fuel rods. So deuterium is backed up and everything is just bad. But that's it. That's That's great. And now I'm actually making... I have an unlimited source of hydrogen and energetic graphite, which is great. But nothing is asking for it, so not great. So this episode, one thing I want to do is maybe get to more energy uh, exchangers and just start using the power we have here and sending it to other planets. However, naturally, copper is still the problem and it's been a crisis for quite a while now and uh, Cancri let's see Cancri 4 is also entirely empty now so Cancri 1 your time has come to be harvested and your 9 million copper ore and honestly that's not gonna last me all that long either hopefully it's gonna last me long enough to leave this system and find more elsewhere yeah 
yeah, that's gonna be a problem soon. Hmm. Anyway, let's see. Do we now? Oh. Too many buttons. Let's see. We have that. Do we have mini fusion power stations? Thermal power stations. We have. That's not gonna last. Uh, let's plop down a storage unit. I don't need the smelters where I'm going. Nor the chemical plants. Gonna need the miners, though. That's important. Uh, fractionators, no thank you. Research stations, no thank you. No thank you. Right. Oh, and I, I can move you over there as well. Gonna need more drones, though. Come on. Let's move. <clears throat> what else do I need? Well, thermal power stations. Yes. Oh, 5,000 is a little bit much. So let's go with 500. Thank you. And I will not bother. Yeah, it might be overkill, but I think I'm going to need it. Same thing with you. And I think the rest is going to have to be power stations, which are over here. 317. Is that it? Well, I was just about to ask myself, is that enough? Of course it is. I just don't know if I have the space for them. I do, kind of. Well, not all of them, obviously, but... Mm, yeah, that... I mean, yes, it definitely will be enough. We then also have four extra towers. Not sure if I'm going to use more planetary or more interstellar towers. So I'm going to bring both. I have 29 interstellar ones. That might be enough if I stretch the belts further. Ah, well. To space and not beyond yet. See, speed up a little, and I. Uh huh. There you are. Oh, this feels good. Let's see. There's a lot of everything here. You don't have any titanium. But I'm not really using titanium. I'm also, using, not using silicon all that much. Let's see, let's get a grid, and we are at... I wonder, is this the... Which one is which? I keep forgetting. Mm. Okay, no. I, I keep getting it confused. Uh, North Pole. Let's build at the North Pole. Also, there's probably a bunch of places uh, on this planet that are completely flattened. Because I needed soil, and this was the best place to find it. So, yeah. I wonder... Maybe that's not saved anymore. I don't know. Anyway, let's see.
I think that's gonna have to be it for now. Um, four and a half million tapped. I think I'm going to keep the rest just in case of emergencies eventually. And power seems to be good. Every time I plop down a tower, it increases massively, but that's fine. The biggest problem is the biggest question, not not really a problem. Is whether or not we're making enough copper for everything we need. And the only way I find that out is if I go to the Forge World. Cancri 4, here I come, and that's one. Ah, there you go. Bonk, there we go. That's a lot of titanium. I'm not really using. How's power here? Just fine, just fine. Good, good, good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, of course you're empty. That makes a massive amount of sense considering there is no more copper on this planet. future evolved life will be having a troublesome time here as well but well at least they have a little bit of iron so far or still I guess it's the better word to use there let's see copper 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 you have a surplus and zero ships sending it out you have a surplus and zero ships that means I'm not smelting in uh, no no, it means I'm smelting enough. I just need more ships. And the only way to get more ships is to have more towers. Which is a bit of a bother. But it's good. It, it feels good to have a surplus again. Finally. And how about you? Yeah, you're, you're all fine. I have made a bit of a... Uh, well, actually, that was last episode. I made a bit of a startling... Uh, find where there are things that actually use uh, raw stone. Let's see, where can we find one of them? Sulfuric acid for one uses stone. And I don't think I'm making all that much of that in on the other planet, on the first planet. Right. Half a million iron still there. Okay, we have copper. That's good. That feels great to have that finally be not a completely pressing issue. Don't know if I'm making enough. And also, carbon nanotubes is an issue. But graphene is... All right, all right, all right. I understand what you're picking up or putting down. Yeah. So we have a little bit of copper. Uh, almost a splashdown. Oh well. There we are. No, you're good. There we go. Uh, Oh, that's not a lot of stone you have. What's up with you? You clearly have seven veins, but product stacking. Yeah, of course it is. I'm not really using coal for anything. But all right, all right. You had a concern. I hope that's alleviated right now. Let's see. Hydrogen backing up. still backing up this seems to be fine now yeah 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 it's using the deuterium that's the main part and we have z whoa okay
Now you still have a lot to use. But... Mm, no, I think I understand the problem there. Not so much a problem, maybe, but... Basically, I asked... Whichever tower it was, I think this one, for a lot of uh, these uh, fuel rods, which emptied out that one. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. And production of copper hasn't really caught up yet. I hope. I so sincerely. Oh, wow, yes, it has. So that's good. How about you? You're getting the magnet, uh, magnetic rails. It's not in great quantities, though. You're actually... Your problem is magnets. Really? Remote demand. Yeah, you have a lot coming in, so that's all good. Remote supply. Yeah, that's not going to last long. But sure, fine. I'm going to leave that there. Okay. Could be a car, uh, could be a concern, yeah. Then that's going over here and creating a lot of electric motors. That's, that's good to see, that's good to hear, that's good to everything. But... That's not translating into supermagnetic ring production, though. A 79 coming in. You are... Hmm, okay. Oh, they're coming in. I think that's the most important thing right now. I am getting some. Okay. Okay. I just need to ramp up like the beginning things. Of course, one one row of electric motors isn't going to help two rows of whatever else, right? How about you? Zero. Absolutely zero. All right, all right. Concerned. You have a lot of carbon nanotubes though. Which is great. So many things, just so many cogs in the wheel, just not turning the way they should. Oh, well, that could be it too. Because these are going straight into the production of fuel rods, which is important. Yes, yes, I do understand that it is in imperative to get many fuel rods, but... Not that important right now. We have them. How do I solve that? Uh, yes, this is how I solve that. It's gonna be clunky, it's gonna be annoying, but it's at least going to be. Thank you for your service, and goodbye. Uh, there, supply, yes, all good. And then you get to be set to demand. Yeah. Oh, and you also get power, because that might be important for you. And some drones. I'm unhappy with this arrangement, but it's gonna have to just work like this for a moment. Alternatively, I can have... yeah... No. Nah, nah, this is fine. I don't want to mess with it too much. Alright. 
But the biggest problem now is actually ramping up a few of these, like uh, magnetic coils, sort of. At least make two belts of it, which means I need more magnets. Hmm. Probably not gonna do this on that, uh, do that on this planet. Reversed my words there. Huh. Well, I didn't have the unex like uh, unrealistic expectation that just tapping some copper was going to fix all my problems, but I was hoping that it would get me a few accumulators at least. What do I need to make those again? Oh, all right, processors. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, that's very good to hear. That. Yes, thank you. Let's clear out the inventory a little bit. So you're getting enough copper. You're kind of making enough uh, the micro components. Good, good, good. That makes me a little bit more. I'm not concerned, the opposite of concerned. Yeah. Let's make energy exchangers. That should probably make me feel a little bit better. You love to see it. And I, I have even more. Come on. Now then, what to do with these? Uh, get power, obviously. Duh. Sorry. That was mean of me. Uh, I just need an empty plot of land. And room to maneuver. Uh, an interstellar station. Let's see. Roughly there, I guess. Yes. Possibly. And you are going to take empty ones. And you're also going to make full ones. And you are going to demand. And you're also going to remote demand, actually. I think that's how you do that. And you want some drones. And you also want power. So greedy. Well, I am very concerned that this hasn't gotten a single one. Oh, no, oh, that's the demand. Yes. And it is set properly and you have it. What's the hold of? One... okay. You're not getting any super magnetic rings at all. Why not? Are you just... No, you have everything set. Super magnetic rings? Come on. I, I thought I just fixed you. Something else is a lot greedier, apparently. You are going where? Oh, to the nearest one. Well, that's not what I planned. Why do you get dibs, so to speak? 
Well, oh wow, that didn't help. Uh, delete that, delete that. And go. I'm apparently not making enough because priorities aren't a thing, apparently. And then we set you all in here. How many do you need per? That may be a big thing too. Six. And I just gave you 200. That's not going to be enough. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, 70. Yes, that's... Mm -hmm. That's a drone. Something I should be seeing... No, no, no. There you are. You sending out. And you should not contain what I thought you would, but fine. Ah, good. It's working. Sort of one. Yay. Oh, right. They're... they're Prioritizing that one. Yes. Maybe I shouldn't set that it set it like that. Actually. Until I make enough of them. Do I, I do like how much they glow. That's uh no. Let's ignore the filters. Let's there. Yeah. Maybe it was a good idea, but right now, no. Let's see, how much does one of these? Ninety megajoules. All right, all right. Thirty-four. I was hoping that I could do more this episode, but I guess not. The um, super magnetic rings are just that big of a problem. And everything uses them. So, yeah. And with all of that griping over and done with, hopefully, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Dice's Weird Program, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>